Hey guys, this is Sam, and welcome to Minecraft Beta. And would you look at that splash screen. <laughs> I was already excited to do my very first Let's Play series ever. And this just excites me even more. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. But uh, let's get into it. I don't even know what to call this world at all. Maybe we can just call it, I don't know, Beta Male. It's kind of a joke people do nowadays. Some of you guys are wondering, why the hell are you playing Minecraft Beta? And in response to that, my answer is... I just haven't been creative lately. I've been bored. A lot of things have been boring and work-intensive. And now that it's summer, I just want something to keep me occupied. Something I can grow creative with and utilize to do a lot of pretty cool things. <laughs> and, uh, 1.7.3... Minecraft beta is the version I'm playing because a lot of other people are playing it, so I'm just uh, jumping on the bandwagon. Because honestly, I did some research into it, and it is a pretty damn cool version of the game. So, <laughs> let's get into it. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I've recorded uh, multiple other beginnings of, of Let's Plays on this version of the game. And I just scrapped all of the recordings because... I was overthinking it a lot. As a more modern Minecraft player and being someone who's only 18 years old, I never experienced this version of the game. So, uh, I was thinking in more of a modern Minecrafter sense when I was starting out my world, trying to plan out every little meticulous thing and being weird and shit. And I just realized being weird and shit is nothing, <laughs> is not going to get you anywhere in a version of the game as old as this one. And uh, when you're when you got a version of the game as scuffed as this one, you just kind of want to go along for the ride. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have some ideas for what I want to do, and I'll disclose them to you when it's time to do so. But for now, I just want to explore the world, get some shit done, and uh, start mining pretty pretty quickly. And that's my goal. So of course, uh, the way I like to play Minecraft is I always start grinding in the beginning for at least a little bit. Uh, my main goal is to get at least uh, maybe a full set of iron gear and armor, and then maybe uh, 64 or so to spare, just so I can uh, replenish my tools and stuff. I've never been... I don't know how to explain this. I played on a couple SMPs in the past that I've done a lot of stuff on. And I was always very content with just keeping iron armor. I just kind of like it. There's no real... Ver <laughs> There's no real reason for it. Of course, I had some enchanted diamond tools, but... What am I even talking about? This is beta Minecraft. Enchanting doesn't exist. Levels don't exist. It's, uh... We're just chilling here right now. And look at my skin. I normally have a Minecraft skin in the newer versions, but obviously that's not here because... Beta. My, my normal skin kind of sucks anyway. It was just a skin I made when I was 15 that kind of looks like me. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Would you look at that? We got a uh, wooden pickaxe. We're already moving up in the world. Should I be getting achievements right now? I don't know. Is the world in normal mode? Yeah, it is. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, maybe the game is just, uh, I don't know, feeling kind of weird right now. Now, to be honest, I don't really know how I want to do these videos. And, uh, to be honest, the, my main goal is just to get a good amount of work done in each episode. And that's pretty much it. I don't really, I haven't worked out the editing styles or what I, what else I want to do. It'll just come with practice. Don't get used to any single style of content creation. Because this is where I get to experiment. I've never done a Let's Play video before. I've never even done a gaming video before. So, uh, we're here to just hang out. And uh, if any of you guys are curious, I do have another channel, which is a commentary channel. 
commentary in uh, I just play a bunch of old games and talk about life, memories, experiences, and opinions. And, uh, yeah. Not trying to shill myself or anything, but, uh, that's, that's my other channel. Just, uh, if anyone's curious. And, uh, the channel you're watching now is just a throwaway channel that I made a while ago. One of my friends did YouTube shorts and wanted me to make one. I did a pretty good short, but then I just got rid of it because it, it got zero views and I just thought, I don't want to do this, so. But anyway, I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, get this world started. I don't really know what to expect, but, uh, we should be... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. We should, we should be in a pretty good spot to uh, get stuff done. I do kind of want to cut the game a lot just because I've always been more of a progress oriented uh, Minecraft viewer. And uh, so if you're one of those sort of people, then uh, put your hands together because, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like we spawned in on an island. There's a desert over there. There's another, there's some stuff over there as well. I kind of like this spawn, to be honest. It's pretty cool. I just hope I find a big, expansive forest biome or green land or something. Because I want to do a starter house with a bunch of farms everywhere. I'm just one of those guys. Alright, let's just murder these pigs real quick while we wait for the iron to smelt. And, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, uh... There are a couple of things about beta Minecraft that piss me off, and that's how some items cannot stack. And uh, it can make sense. It makes sense when you got tools and stuff because they have durability, but but pork chops? Come on, dude. That shit's annoying. Signs can't be stacked either. And for a while they were they became stack 16, which what the hell? <laughs> stack 16 signs? That feels illegal, dude. But in this version, they don't stack at all. Dude, I'm gonna be building a couple mob farms on this server. At least that's what I kind of that's what I've been <laughs> That's what I've been planning for. Look at all the, the meat. I don't need any more. <laughs> but I'm gonna be doing mob farms. And uh how the hell do I do those with signs? It's just gonna be annoying. And I got a cave sound. Boy. <laughs> I am very excited to do this, lacking creativity and stuff. Uh, I think this game will kind of revitalize my creativity, though, because, uh, you know, think about Minecraft now. There's items on, upon items upon items for pretty much everything you could think of. But in early Minecraft, there's a lot less stuff that you can use. And I think I could use that to my advantage, or at least uh, I can use that to be pretty creative with, because you can come up with pretty cool block block palettes and designs and and uh, exercise your creativity pretty pretty well and uh, I think that's something really cool about beta minecraft and I feel like I've seen some pretty pretty creative stuff in this version and uh, yeah so uh, first of all I want to get some sheep before I do anything else but I'm getting pigs and cows and uh, look I've, I've got enough pigs already I need some sheep hey there's one over here just spawned in there's two that's good we need a third one Sun I don't even know what that is I hope it's not getting dark I haven't even done much in this world yet all right one two I don't even know if shears exist in this version they probably do but I'm not using them. God damn it. One more sheep, please. Oh my god. I don't know why I use my pick to kill them. I, have, I literally have a sword. Okay. I think it just turned night. Oh my god, perfect timing. Whew. Come on. Alright, good. I, you guys heard my, my mouse spam. I talk a lot, I just don't... I like talking when I uh, play games and stuff like this. How do you break this crafting table at a good speed? I know there's a bunch of weird uh, stuff in beta for uh, some tools break stuff that doesn't make sense. I like this area. 
It's pretty nice. Uh, what I might do is just bulldoze over some of these, some of this stuff. I want a relatively flat piece of land for when I build this place. Because I want to build a, the, a house with fields and stuff all around it. And I, I like this, the, the water being everywhere, because I can make it look a bit coastal. Have a cool little uh, spawn area, and uh, we won't have to travel far from the actual spawn in order to get here. And it looks like this place uh, continues quite a bit. Yeah, this is, this is the area I'm looking for. It's looking beautiful. Um, I might put my house over here. Let's just travel a little more and see what we can do. Why is there snow over here? Man, I hope this isn't a, a random snow biome. I don't know. There's random snow everywhere. I know this game kind of tweaks with the world generation and how that sort of stuff works, but I don't know. I do like this area though, it's pretty cool, there's some uh, wolves over here, I might tame a few of them, eventually. More snow, damn it. It is a pretty good spot to uh, build though, I like this area. Now I just want to find a place to begin a mine so we can start, start grinding. I'll probably start mining into the side of a hill or something and just so uh, we can have a little bit of a, an entrance to everything. What about this place? I feel like this place could work pretty well. So I'm going to start my mine into the side of this, this hill here. And we might build a small building around it eventually, but not right now. We can use some of this dirt to fill in the ground here. Because I kind of... Jesus. I kind of want it to be in a... What the hell? Oh, lighting error. I want it to be relatively accessible from my house, which will be over there. As for the mine itself, I want it to be your classic Minecraft mine, where it's just a giant staircase going down. And uh, minecarts in the middle. Of course, no minecarts for now, because uh, I don't have anything for that. But eventually we'll get to that point. So we got a 4x4 four four area, I'm probably going to make it odd number to account for the staircase that I want to place in here. I'll probably... Alright. Almost looks like a vault or something. But I'm excited to see what I can do here on the world. It's looking pretty good so far as for the seed. And I think we'll be able to do some cool stuff with everything else. The only issue is though, is that I'm a pretty rusty Minecraft player. I used to play it a lot several years ago, but now I... I'm not the best, so please excuse anything that I do that's kind of dumb, because let's just say uh, it's not going to be too surprising if that sort of stuff happens. So I'd say this is a decent area to start, then I'll just dig a 3x3 three three, uh, thing that goes down. Hopefully we won't, won't run into anything too bad. Because I don't want to deal with that. I'll probably dig it in a little more because I want to put stairs in here eventually. And I guess while we uh, do this tedious shit, we can place some stuff down. At least temporarily while we uh, get some stuff done. Looks like the animals are having fun right now. Let's uh, continue this bit. Jesus. I play like I'm schizophrenic, so apologies. 
But anyway, this is going to be a relatively boring project, so I'll be back in a second for when it's done. Alright guys, uh, I'm not completely finished with what I did yet, but I finished this, and uh, I started digging out an area that I found here. This is actually an under underground uh, lake that I started draining out, because it was at a good level. This is Y10, so I thought I'd uh, sit down. You saw, there's my very first diamonds. I might as well uh, start digging for them. I gotta be careful though, because over here, I got a bunch of materials. I got so many materials, and I start mining stuff out. The amount of times that I ran out of iron tools and needed to resort back to stone was crazy. But I finally found some iron somewhere around here, and then I start digging this redstone, and I get greedy. I get really greedy, and then I fall into lava and die. So I lost some stuff, I, luckily I didn't lose my iron pickaxe, or, or this coal, I think I had some other stuff left over, but all my iron tools except for my pickaxe, my water bucket, I had my water bucket in my hand with half a heart left, it was awful, <laughs> but, but yeah, I gotta be very careful around here, let's go back to uh, getting these diamonds. Then after that, I'll cut again and then get back to uh, digging out this mine area. But I want to see how many diamonds we got. This is a good vein. Let's make sure we're, we're safe under here. Damn, this is a lot of diamonds. Probably seven. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight diamonds. That's awesome. I'm gonna save them for now. Of course, I gotta deposit them before I I get stupid and and die violently again. But yeah, um, so far I'm digging out a mine area. the The thing I want to do here is, um, there's this. I've seen some people with mines that have strip mines that start out, they have a 2-1 here, and then they got stairs that go up to ones in the middle up here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this area. So this is where the minecart track is going to go when I get enough materials. It'll stop somewhere around here. And then right here in the middle, I'm going to add uh, my crafting table and stuff. All my important things probably put some chests over here as well and uh, yeah hopefully it'll look very nice so I'll get back to you when I finish doing more of this hey everyone and welcome back so it's been about maybe seven or eight hours since the last cut I did a lot of work in here so uh, this is the mine that I came up with I Threw some rails in the middle. This was annoying though. <laughs> Beta is a confusing thing. I had to, in order to get the powered rails to stretch from one power source, which was a lever that I put underneath here, I had to keep on updating uh, these blocks over and over again. It was so annoying. But I got this thing done. I'm going to show it off to you really quick because it runs pretty well. It was kind of a waste of gold and it took me forever to get enough gold to make that. But it launches me up really quickly, and then uh, I can launch myself down really quickly too. And I think it worked out well. I might pretty this place up in a little bit, but not right now. We're early game, and I don't want to deal with that right now. Also, uh, we mined a lot, and it turned out pretty bountiful, to be honest. We managed to get a lot of stuff done. This is that uh, style of strip mining that I was talking about earlier. Look at all these torches. <laughs> the amount of coal that went into this is insane. I also dug out the uh, this way too. Some of these things go out hundreds and hundreds of blocks. It's it's kind of crazy. And uh, we ended up getting a good amount of diamonds. I also set up this uh, chest area in the back and this thing in the middle. And I think it's working out pretty well. Also, you might have noticed uh, the strange shape of this uh, mine area. Most of most people's mines are linear. They go down here, they just keep going that way. But I 
had this weird idea. What if I just do it horizontally? And uh, I think that, I don't know. I think that was a pretty cool idea. I don't know how practical it is, but it looks cool in my opinion. The idea is just to keep digging uh, in these directions. And I think this is a pretty effective design for uh, acquiring ore. I didn't get that one because there's like lava very close into that. But yeah, so I'm going to show you the haul that we got. I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised at how many diamonds I got. 44, and then I used two of them on my sword. So, uh, 46 diamonds is pretty crazy. Uh, this is my haul of coal. A lot of it was used to smelt iron and uh, other things and to make these things. Uh, my gold, I've only got three gold because I use most of it for the powered rails. Lapis. Here's my redstone. This isn't even all the redstone. Look, there's some that I didn't even mine right here. So. <laughs> this is my iron, which I think is a good amount. Then this is my cobble chest. It's almost entirely full. I've been using some and smelting it in here because my house design on this world, I want to use some smooth stone and stone related things. Since you just get so many from mining it though, I made a second chest for that. This is my uh, gravel, this is my dirt, this is my mob drops that I found. I didn't get many of them because look, look at all these torches I've been using. You can't see it very well though, but let's just say, yeah, I, I light things like a maniac. Then this is my Michigan chest and uh, yeah. <laughs> I also went up to the surface to get some wood and uh, I mined out a bunch. I got way too many saplings. And that was for two reasons. Number one, to just get a bunch of materials for my house. And number two was to strip the area so it's a lot easier to see. I started out with some... Holy shit. Oh! Dude, I fucking hate creepers, dude. Man, I was, I was gonna show you some cool stuff I made, but I can't do that now. <laughs> Let's go in and, uh... I haven't even cooked up enough food yet. This game sucks. I did die twice to some skeletons in one of the strip mines that I made. They just ambushed me. <laughs> and it was awful. Then I, after I died the second time, I came back, and then the skeletons just randomly disappeared. They probably just despawned because of how far away I was. A lot of mobs despawn after uh, 30 or so seconds, which was good news for me. I only got one pork chop now. That's not good. We can just head up to the surface and acquire some real quick. Alright, using the last piece of meat that I had from the pigs that I killed at the very beginning of the world. Uh, I'm gonna repair this creeper hole and just say, uh... I did kinda not do this. I did a lot of work in here, but I didn't, uh, fill this thing all the way in. But, I have some, uh, really cool plans that I've been working out for the area around here. And that is to create a bit of a... Medieval village slash city slash whatever you want to call it. Ah! Oh my god! Where are these creepers coming from? Dude, I light up my areas. I sleep right when it gets dark. I don't know what the deal is. If another one comes in here. I'm just quitting <laughs> this world forever. I don't even have enough dirt to clean this shit up. That is so fucking stupid. Alright, let's go back down and get some dirt. This is such a train wreck of a... of a first episode. Now 
now that we've plugged this place up a little bit threw some dirt back in where it was supposed to go uh, I want to use some of this dirt to show off the area that I want to build in because I think it'd be a good idea to plan when you've got a bit of a uh, bird's eye view of everything so let's check it out so uh, this is a rough view of the area that we've got here so there's this large area that I haven't even gone to yet there's a snowy area there's a desert somewhere back there that is the island that I spawned on and uh, yeah so what I want to do here is what I was thinking was building a good sized castle on that side clearing most of this stuff out and maybe keeping this little island and building some sort of a uh, watchtower thing in the middle to overlook people. Terraform this thing a little bit and build a tall lighthouse over it. Somewhere around here will be a farm area, probably in the back of the area. And I'll build my starter house somewhere around here. And then we'll build a few other villages and maybe a church or something here. See what we can do. And then, yeah, I want to... Uh, Put a castle there, and uh, just make it look like a bit of a kingdom. I also, since this is a small river, I was thinking about linking it, linking it up to over there in some way, somehow, but I don't know for sure. Or maybe I can turn that into a waterfall, and then put a mill in that area with a big wheel so it can uh, harvest some stuff. At the very least, though, I think maybe this could be a good farm island, and maybe I can just move the village over here into this area, because I think it'd be a cool place to go. The only issue is that there's that weird snow biome versus forest biome thing going on, so I don't really know what to do about it, but I think it would, I think I've got some cool ideas for what I want to do here. And yeah, and I cleared out what felt like so many trees, but there's still a lot over here. I kind of went this way and walked my way through here and bulldozed through all the trees. <laughs> but there are so many other ones here. I don't even need that much. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the, the goal for what I've been thinking about. Maybe I could do some kind of ice, snow sort of themed thing over here. But I don't know for sure. So uh, what? at the very least, I want to start out, I want to build my starter house in this episode. Now, it'll be a long first episode, but a lot of TV pilots are pretty long. So don't worry, I'll go to a 20 minute long episode format from now on. 20 to 30, I think. I just think it's always a good idea to get a lot of stuff done in the beginning. And then maybe we can uh, start working on some larger scale projects. And would you look at that armor? One and a half armor points. Look at how crippled this armor is. <laughs> I've been using it for so long. My helmet disappeared. So yeah, what I'm going to do is try to uh, clear out some more forest. And uh, start working on a starter house. And uh, show you guys what I've been working on. And uh, I don't know how long it'll take, but... I want it to be a nice looking medieval place. Maybe a farmhouse type of thing get a bunch of uh, wheat fields in the area and uh, hopefully it'll look nice well I don't know what happened I feel like I blacked out five hours ago and I just came to and all this stuff was built so uh, <laughs> uh I kind of did a lot of stuff off camera it did take me it took me five hours exactly, I'm pretty sure. It's 9.45 p.m. And the sun is almost completely set. The sky looks beautiful right now. It's orange. It's at that weird gradient with the orange and the black converging to create that bluish gray. What am I saying? But anyway, uh, this is what I did. That's my house. Um, it looks kind of weird, but... I haven't played the game in a while. I hope <laughs> I hope you can uh, give me a bit of uh, credence there. I started building this barrier wall thing around the island. And uh, I stuck with that idea to make a uh, farm. So um, this here 
is going to be wheat fields and I'm going to terraform it around and move this around hopefully to the end this will just be a big wheat field and I'm going to dig a uh, hill up put a windmill on top I'll elaborate on those plants next episode because this can, <laughs> I'm going to leave it here but uh I built this little bridge this is the very first thing I properly built on the world the mine area still isn't finished if you squint really really closely it looks the exact same as it did earlier I also uh, did this path I did some cool looking stairs around the place to hopefully make it look nice and it's looking pretty good so anyway I'm going to dig down and show you what I did with the house so this is the house I'm on a path right now made out of slabs because I can do that and it looks kind of cool in my opinion there's a tree over here this is my lawn I wanted to give you a slightly closer view of the barrier wall. Just all this area was terraformed, by the way. It was crazy. I'll dig down a little bit for you. Look at that, beautiful. Any mobs spawn in there, then I've got a free mob farm on my hands. This is the area. I want to put a mill building right there and maybe connect it into the mine. Miner's guild combined with a mill maybe. I think that would be pretty cool. I didn't finish this entire thing just because I haven't planned out the rest of this, but we'll figure that out next episode. This brick chimney on the back of the house looks kind of wonky, but I don't know. It's okay. I haven't played the game in so long that I think it's fine. I messed around with this texturing on the side. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, I couldn't put anything under these flower beds, so I put fences. <laughs> I think this trapdoor idea, I mean, this is impractical, but it looks kind of cool like this. More texturing. And uh, look, dirt roof. Why the hell did you put a dirt roof on top of your house? My response is, I don't really know why. It looks good. And it, it honestly looks pretty good from a distance. And some medieval houses did have dirt roofs, so checkmate, gotcha. But anyway, I'm going to show you the interior. Again, this floor is kind of weird. I don't know why I did it, but <laughs> I thought it was cool. Fireplace, I haven't uh, set it on fire or anything, partially because there's wood in close proximity. And also because I just haven't been to the nether yet. I kind of forgot I, could, I can do that. I'll probably do that eventually, though. We got some stuff here. I've been cooking some, well, a pork chop, just just in case. And yeah, I did fall off the top of the roof while building it, and I got all the way down to half a heart. Also, all my armor just got broken over time because of ambushes and stuff. It's getting night, which is perfect because we get to go upstairs. Over the fireplace, I put this little vent thing, which a lot of fireplaces genuinely have. It goes up to the ceiling. I probably should have put a vent up there too, but... I really don't care. And uh, yeah, the chimney goes up. I also put some beam beam stuff on the inside because it looks cool. Rock and sand, uh, plants and stuff, cobble, and then wood, and then I just threw my other shit down here. Crafting table. And I'm going to sleep because it's got getting dark and I don't want any more mobs to, to, to murder me. But anyway, this is the... Uh, the base that I've thrown together so far, my starter house. And so far, I think the layout that I have for this world is good enough, at least by my standards. I might change this up so it lines up with the bridge maybe, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I do feel like I kind of turned my brain off when I started designing this. I just kind of went with the land. Just said, you know what would be a cool idea? This. And then I just do it anyway. <laughs> But yeah, I did all of this in five hours, and uh, I also found a bunch of clay for that brick on that island right there, and then an island over there. Clay is a bitch to find, but it's fine. These cross beams are cool. I took some inspiration from people, and uh, I don't know. I think the house looks decent enough for the first proper build I've done in Minecraft in ages. So yeah. Next episode, I kind of want to get a few more buildings in here because I'm kind of in a building mood. I might build another bridge over there because I want to build the castle. 
on that side and put some village buildings over there. This is long-term plans, by the way. Maybe mill, and then connect that up to the mine. Build a windmill on top of a terraformed hill. Lighthouse here. I don't know exactly how much I want to do that episode, but we'll figure it out. Because I, I do want my future episodes to be a lot shorter than this. 20 to 30 minutes long for those. But yeah, but so far I'm pretty happy with this world. And... I'm pretty proud of what I managed to do. So anyway, um, sorry, I'm getting jump scared by plane flying over my house right now. And, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, hope you're doing fine. And, uh, if you've got any constructive criticism, comments, if you want to tell me to die, uh, all you got to do is go into the comments. Feel free to subscribe. Hopefully I'll get the next episode out on maybe Saturday at the, the latest. So this has been Sam, and I'll see you all later.